We're speaking to Stefan Lindgren, the executive partner of Harvison & Harvison. Stefan was one of the initiators of the Harvison & Harvison web ranking survey, which is now into its 14th year. Now, this is the seventh edition of the Italian uh, Harvison & Harvison web ranking awards. How are the Italian companies doing? Well, uh, quite a few of the companies are doing very, very well both in an Italian perspective and also in a European perspective. They have spent the last couple of years really, really improving their websites. On the other hand, two-thirds of the Italian companies are below 50 points in the scoring, which is really, really not good. So they have a lot of ground to cover in the coming years. So what are some of the strengths and weaknesses of Italian companies regarding their website performance? Well, looking at the, uh, the top third then that are doing really well, one of the key strengths is that they are really good at everything, looking at the CSR section, looking at the financial information. There's really not much missing. It's a full score in most sections on the really best companies. So the strength is really to be good at all sections and really not missing one or two of the vital points. Looking at the bad companies or the companies that are doing really, really not so good, they have really all the sections to cover. So it's uh, really the opposite to the good companies. I see. Now, what are some of the trends that are emerging that companies should definitely pay attention to? Well, most companies have spent the last couple of years building up their website estates, being the website, they've added YouTube films, they added the social media channels, they are investing in Google search, etc. And the challenge right now is to have a strategy of what content goes where. Uh, as you have so many places, so many more places where your content is being consumed. The other challenge is that the behavior of the different uh, consumers of your content is changing rapidly when they are starting to use the mobile phones as iPhones, Android phones, and they're also using the iPads. That's both an opportunity and a threat. It's an opportunity if they choose to uh, use the different channels uh, for their uh, financial communication or corporate communication that can really add on to how the companies are reaching out and engaging their audiences. Great. Okay. Thanks very much, Stefan. Thank that you very was, much. That was Stefan Lindgren from Harvison and Harvison.